Okay, so I was going through my videos and realized that the introductory vid video I filmed for this back on July 16th uh, was corrupted. So um, I'm just basically going to start again. Uh, I'm Aislinn. Welcome uh, to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you're returning. This is my stitchy channel. Um, crafting in general, um, but mostly stitching. And this project is uh, Heaven and Earth Designs Bookshelf Treasure Hunt, Treasure Hunt Bookshelf, excuse me, Color Expansion 2, artwork by Amy Stewart. And I initially started this on July uh, 16th. And let me tell you, the first couple weeks on this was an emotional roller coaster, and I will get into that in a minute. Um, this is done on 18 count, easy count Ada, and uh, this is done through a material pack through Hade, um, Heaven and Earth Designs. I know the material packs are expensive, especially if you're international. Uh, I am in Canada. But where I live, it is just more convenient. Um, and now with the current prices of, you know, gas and stuff, way cheaper for me just to order from Hate directly than it is for me to try and source stuff and, or drive to the city um, and that kind of thing. Because I am very, very rural. Um, so yeah. You're going to hear birds singing outside and my neighbors, I apologize, I have to have the window open, otherwise I can't be in this room because it is way too hot. So yeah, this was initially started July 16th. I worked about a week on it, uh, got about 450-ish stitches in, and realized that I miscounted somewhere in the initial starting and it was all off, the, just everything was all off. So I had to rip basically the whole thing out. Um, then I got angry at myself <laughs> and this went in project timeout for like two weeks, <laughs> week and a half, somewhere in there. Um, so I, uh, I have now put in all of the stitches that I had to rip out, plus some. I am working in this kind of area up in here, upper left hand corner. Really on this threaded fabric you can start anywhere you want. Uh, I just like to start in the upper left hand corner. And this is me fixing my math. <laughs> so normally I don't do this on pre-gridded fabric, but I had to with this one, especially after the major fuck up. So yeah, that is where that is. Um, so I will uh, be doing a series of these videos, sharing my progress uh, as I work through them. Um, but this has, I think around 600 stitches in it. I don't have my tablet in front of me to actually look at the stitch count, but I'm pretty sure it's about 600 stitches uh, so far. Um, not a whole lot uh, that you can really see. I think there's only like four colors, but they're all very similar. So as things progress, of course, you're going to see more. Um, this is my favorite hoop because this hoop, um, this area here and here is basically a page. So I know that if it's in the middle of this hoop, like inside this hoop, it is basically going to be a page on the pattern. So. That is uh, why you see this one in my videos a lot. I have other hoops that I do use for like when I'm working on different size projects or if I'm working in a project that doesn't have a big border. Um, you know, if I'm working in the center of a massive project, I'll, I'll bring a bigger one out. Uh, but this one is by far my favorite because it's just easy for me to know that when it's full, it's more or less a page. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this project right now. I am incredibly enjoying stitching on it, but then blues and grays and purples and that are all my favorite colors. So I'm in my happy place with this one. And I'm not going to be touching it 
for a little while because I have some diamond paintings I want to work on um, and a few other projects. I got a crochet blanket and that I'd like to work on. Um, so it's not going to get any love for a little bit. So um, that's why I thought I would go ahead and do this update. Um, yeah, so that's it. I don't want to get too rambly and I will see you guys in the next update video. Bye!